hello and welcome to another video today i'm bringing you another tag i have done a few of these tags this month they're all Christmassy themed and i'm loving them so this is the winter essentials book tag i just thought i'd have a look um for Christmassy book tags and i found this one and it looks like it was created by taylor reads i will put their link in the description box below so you can check their original tag out but there is like 12 prompt question things so i'm just gonna go through them so the first one is crackling fire who is your favorite cold character who warmed up towards the end now for this one i'm gonna go for will herondale in the infernal devices series he was very arrogant and cold and to be honest this could also work for jace herondale in the mortal instrument series and Kit Herondale in the Dark Art of Fisa series, any Herondale basically, um, and James Herondale in the, yeah, the Herondales are very alike. The Herondale boys don't really change, um, but I'm gonna go for Will anyway, um, because he definitely warmed up towards the end and I just, I liked him from the beginning, but I loved him by the end, so yeah. Next up is Snowflakes. What is a book that is full of unique characters? I found this one pretty hard and I was going to go with a Shadowhunters book because in each of them there are a bunch of characters that are very different but I thought I'd stray away from Shadowhunters and go with Crave by Tracy Wolf because there are a lot of characters in this and they are all very different. So you have like Jackson, you have Flint, you have Macy, you have Grace, you have so many others. And they're just all so different. So this is perfect for this. Also, I love this. this is a five star series for me. Uh, you should all go read it. The next up is Gingerbread Family. Which fictional family would you like to be a part of? And I am going back to Shadowhunters for this because it is the Blackthorn family from the Dark Art of Vices. I love every one of the Blackthorns. There is genuinely not a Blackthorn I don't like. And I would love to be their older sister and look after them all because they they need to be wrapped in bubble wrap forever i love them so much next up is blizzard also by the way i'm looking keep looking down because i've got the questions down there on my ipad um but the next one is blizzard what is a book that has had you confused the whole time for this i'm going for fifth season by nk jemison i finished this like a month and a half ago and i still could not tell you what happened in this it's so confusing and I gave it a four stars but I'm just like the logic was so low I don't know how it got a four star because <laughs> I have genuinely no idea what happened in this um yeah like don't bother reading the blurb either because the blurb will literally not help you um but it was a good book so you know next up is gift giving what is the last book you were gifted now i actually got gifted three books yesterday but i'm gonna go with the one that i opened last which is saw kill girls by claire legrand this was gifted to me by the lovely rachel over at rattle the stars um who i am i co-hosted the scythe along with and i am gonna be co-hosting a book club with which is the recreate book club if you haven't heard already i will leave the twitter link in the description below below along with the announcement video. Um, but honestly, I am so excited to read this. I've heard not much about this, but I love Claire Legrand's other series, the Emporium Trilogy. Do still need to read the third book, <laughs> but I love that series. I love her writing, so I knew I needed this. Next up is Snowball. What is the biggest book you've read? This is the answer every time I get this question, but it is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. This comes in a whopping 980 pages, which is really odd because this looks bigger. Pride of the Orange Tree looks bigger, but it's actually only 849 pages. So 980 pages is the biggest. I have a few that are like reaching it at like 800 and something, 900 and something, but this I've checked and this is genuinely the biggest book I have read so far. Next up is wrapping paper. Um, what is your most beat up book? Now, if you know me, you know that my books are like almost perfect condition. However, I do have a set of books from when I was a kid. I'm just gonna show you the first one, but I do have a set of books from when I was a child that I reread quite a lot. So then they're a bit tattered, but they're still in good condition. And that is Mr. Monday by Garth Nix. You'll see that the corner is actually ripped off a little bit 
um there's scuff marks all over it the spine isn't that broken to be fair i don't know what happened but the spine hasn't really broken um i don't know where, why the rest of it's a bit um battered but yeah and the pages are like pretty darn yellow um but yeah i love this series um all all seven books in this series look like this because i've read them so much and i'm planning a reread next year because <laughs> i really want to reread them um so yeah this is about as bad as you're gonna get i might have one that's a bit more bad that's a charity shop book but i don't count that because it wasn't a brand new book when i got it so i'm gonna go for this because these were brand new when i got them when i was a kid Next up is Christmas Lights. What is a book you own that has many colours on the cover? For that, I'm going for Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. This has literally every colour of the rainbow on it. And if you open up, it's very colourful. Um, I don't think I have a more colourful book than this. This is a gorgeous book, Inside and Out. I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited for the author's new book that's coming out on my birthday next year. Next up we have Ice Skating. What is a book that had a plot that was all over the place? Now, bear with me with this one. Relentless by Karen Lynch. Now, when I say it was all over the place, I don't mean it necessarily in a bad way. I really enjoyed this. My only kind of criticism was the fact that there was a plot. The plot was very clear. But so much happened in the plot. There was just so many little subplots of things happening. And I was a it was a little bit all over the place. But um, it wasn't in a bad way necessarily. Like it did sort of like affect my corporal rating. But not enough to affect my enjoyment if that makes sense. Like I did enjoy it. It was a four star. And I am very excited to continue the series. But yeah just um, if you go into it just it's a little bit over the, all over the place. Just a little bit. Next we have Christmas Tree. Who is your favourite character of all time? Now this would have been a very hard one to do. Actually no it wouldn't. It would have been a very different answer. It would have been a Shadow Hunter's answer, not gonna lie. Um, however, I recently read a book that has become my favourite book of all time and if you know me you know what I'm about to say. Adam Coulson from The Love Hypothesis by a Ali Hazelwood. Look at him. I love him so much and before I read this book it would have been Jem Carstairs from The Infernal Devices <laughs> or Simon Lewis from The Mortal Instruments or actually Rowan Whitethorn from the uh, Throne of Glass series but I have read this and therefore my answer is Adam Coulson. It actually did kind of make my decision a little bit easier so thank you Ali Hazelwood for writing Adam Coulson <laughs> the next one's a little bit hard it is the star what's a book you look forward to rereading each year now I don't really have a book that I specifically pick up each year um so I don't really know how to answer this I think maybe the Christmas Saurus ones could be ones that I would want to reread each each year um although to be fair Shadow Hunters are like turning out to be an every year reread because I have not had a year where I haven't reread one of the books from the Shadow Hunters Chronicles. So possibly Shadow Hunters, but if you're talking specifically Christmas, um the Christmas Saurus series because I read Christmas Saurus three years ago, four years ago, one of them. I read it the year it came out. And then in 2019 I read the second book. And then last year I reread the first book, I think. I could be wrong, I feel like. But then this year I'm going to be reading the third book. So I feel like that could be my Christmassy reread because it's a really cute, short, quick read and very Christmassy. But if we're going or not, just in general, um, I feel like Shadow Hunters. It could be any book from the Shadow Hunters, but I've reread at least one every year for the last like five years because <laughs> I really love them um and next year I'm reading them all again <laughs> and the year after because I'm doing the by the angel along which is going to take at least two years to get through everything so yeah <laughs> and then the final one is just snowball fight tag five people so I am gonna tag Lisa at Lisa does life live in from live in magical bookland 
Danny from Danny's Book World, Chelsea from Relaxation, and Ashley at Ashley's Media Addiction. If you're not one of those five people and you still would like to do this tag, I also tag you, but they are just the five people I'm gonna like name and shame. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this tag. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.